the, the, the power of storytelling is interesting uh, with your words you can pretty much create whatever narrative you want now i'm not a storyteller by any means but in this instance i'm going to try to be spending the last two weeks with a group of brothers partaking in umrah wasn't on my bingo cards for 2024 up until the last week of december and i don't want to say i regret not filming a lot because i barely captured even a core of the trip but like i said earlier i'm going to try and use my words to fill in the gaps and create a narrative that i so vividly felt on this amazing once in a lifetime trip <laughs> Honestly, if you guys want to stand up, quickly stand up and just sit back down. There's no way. Alright, go on, lads. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We're going to do, we need to board in an hour. So we're going to do a quick seminar uh, and then inshallah we'll board our, our gate 16B. So we're going to go back up inshallah, yeah? So bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah amma ba'd. I'm going to go through a quick wudu seminar. So our, we make wudu every day, five times a day, sometimes more. But we make, sometimes, we make mistakes that we're, we're not sure of. We make a lot of mistakes in our wudu. You'll be surprised how many mistakes we make. So who can tell me the pillars of wudu? So pillars is something, if you don't do it, your wudu is null and void. Faddal. One. Six. Six. It's correct. Ali said the first one, intention. Second one, to wash your face from here, so where your hairline starts. Some certain amount push back, so it might be a bit further in it. Like in Alhamdulillah, it's all right. From where your head, where your forehead starts, sorry, to the chin, earlobe to earlobe. Obviously, Abdul Aziz has got a big beard, Allah on barik, so only he's, he's only got to wash the outside of his beard. But it's going to be like me, you've got, to, you've got to wash, if you can see the skin, you've got to wash until the skin. Then you wash your arms. So intention, face. Arms. Who can tell me how you wash your arms? Simple question. It's not a true question. You have to start from the fingertips. Up to? You've got to go just past the elbow. Who agrees with him? Correct. You wash your hand as well. Yeah. Sah. So it's important that you wash your hand. A lot of boys, a lot of us, sorry, think that if we wash from our wrist to our elbow, the wudu is sufficed. But the arm starts from the hand. So if you don't wash the hand, your wudu is batal. It doesn't count. When you're washing your arms, when it says washing your arms, which is the pillar, you have to start from the hand all the way to the elbow. That's the, hand. That's the arm. The entire arm. Then wiping the hair, then the feet. The feet's pretty easy. In between the toes, up to the ankles. Khalas. Ayyabarakallahu feek. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. And the last one, sorry, the most important one, in order. Tartib. If you start with your arms, go to your face, then your feet, and then do your hair, it don't count. It's got to be in order. Tartib. Okay? That's Zakaria or Zak, one of the emirs on the trip. You'll meet Abdul Aziz later. He gave a quick rundown on probably one of the most important things before praying salahs were thousands and hundreds of thousands of prayers. The brotherhood was already strong from the get-go, but you'll see how that truly comes about in a little while. But for now, we go to Medina, a city special to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and in a lecture by Ustad Abu Taymiyyah on a very important talk every single person performing Umrah should really know. الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين بعثه الله شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا. It's gonna make inshallah تعالى short, concise. You know the hadith that I normally like to start with is this hadith that is extremely powerful. You know when people come for Umrah when the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said the one who goes out for Hajj the one who goes out for Umrah these three groups of people the one who goes for Umrah the one who goes for Hajj and the one who goes for Jihad the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Wafdullah. They are the guests of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I'll say that again. You are the guest of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Ta'ahum fa'ajabuh. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala invited them and they accepted the invitation. Fasa'aluhu fa'atahum. And they invoked, they supplicated to Allah Azza wa Jalla. They asked. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala responded back to them and He gave them that which they asked for. Right? Not everyone gets this opportunity to be here, guys. I'm sure when you made the decision to come here, you told some of your friends, right? You told some of your relatives, let's go for Umrah. I've made a decision to go. Many of them, they weren't able to make it. Even though they might be extremely wealthy. Sahih? They might have the financial ability to book the ticket. They have the ability to do so. But... For whatever reason, they weren't able to be here, guys. 
Allah, I remember there was a year. One of the Leicester groups, yes, it was a Leicester group. A brother came all the way to London Heathrow. And by the way, it wasn't Umrah, it was Hajj. Hajj is multiplied by what? Maybe what? Seven, eight times the amount that you guys paid? Or maybe six times, huh? He came all the way to Heathrow Airport. And for one reason or the other, he decided to start drinking at Heathrow. They refused to let him board the flight. He's on his way to Hajj. And he never made it that day. Onto the flight, guys. He never made it. Even though he had the capability to get to the airport, he decides to start drinking at Heathrow Airport. Not everyone gets this opportunity here, brothers. It may well be the first and the last time we ever get a chance to walk on Meccan and also Medina soil. I've worked on certain projects where they would take brothers off the streets, bring them to Umrah, hoping that when they go back, they'll flip their lives around. Around the same age as you guys. Wallahi al-Azim, some of them are not alive today. Some of them are not alive today, guys. This trip is a lifeline that Allah Azza wa Jal is throwing your way. You guys know what a lifeline is? An opportunity. If you pass the test, brothers, you may well be allowed to come back here again. I think for a lot of us, including myself, everything felt so surreal in Medina. Not the chaotic type, but the kind that brings a thought. What if I lived there? We had a seminar in a musallah that the Prophet used to pray in, and once it was done, the Shaykh turns over to our lovely brother and asks where we've come from. We start to tell him when he turns and says, if I could give one piece of advice to the brothers, it's to make a transition to a Muslim country because nothing's over there for you. But for me anyway, that's probably one of the things that stuck out the most for me. Right now though, we turn our direction to another man who claims to be the best go-kart, and this is where our journey begins with the group. You, you gonna smoke? Everyone here. Yeah. 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 How about that? <laughs> Bro, only man. Are you going to do this? I'm just saying. You're not doing anything. I'm 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 doing Now when I tell you it went from bad to worse. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Interview. Yalla. Sky Sports News. Yalla. <laughs> Yalla, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Beautiful performance. Boom! Absolutely. I, 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 whoever okay, okay. whoever goes next, I'm saying, whoever goes next, <coughs> jump on first, you'll win. Because you don't start at the same time. Oh, so I've got 20 seconds. Guys, give me a second. Bro, I'm here. Let him finish. 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 Ask some questions, please. Yeah, go on. What position did you finish? Can you rate your performance? I'm not saying I had the best performance. I'm not saying I had the best performance. This is the worst. <laughs> two, ten. Oh, one, two, I'm, ten. Well, I'm saying one. Anyway, I'm saying one. I'm one. saying one. one. I'm saying one. Okay. one. But I'm one. saying if everyone started at the same time, well, then we could yeah, talk. Okay, okay, okay. Then it's a race. Who okay. won? Okay. 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 I won. I won. Okay. When did you start? When did you start? When did you start? No, this is the debate. It's not on camera. It don't count. Can you repeat your? I'm saying look. Hey, if we start at the same time, our two brothers. Yeah. Start at the same. I'm not saying ah. He started at the five time. We start at the same time. Let's see who wins. Let's see who's the driver then. He lost again. Oh, well, too quick, man. <laughs> Sky Sports News, F1, Saudi Arabia. Radar Aziz. Uh, it's, hey, it's it's off day. Hey, it was an off day. Mm -hmm. Some of the guys, I'm not going to say anything, I'm not making no excuses. Okay. Some brothers had some like brilliant engine. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. I lost fair and square. Well done. Okay. Pleasure. Where's the other second? Where's the first guy that cheated? I'm here, brother. I'm here, brother. No, the other guy. No, this no. guy cheated <laughs> and you came second. Sorry. Wallahi. Sorry. Sky Sports News, Saudi Arabia, Radar Aziz. Bro, disgusting. <laughs> The activities on this trip are hilarious but also beneficial and I wish it was documented well. From a guided tour around Masjid Nabawi to praying in Masjid Qubba and visiting Mount Nafid, the, the trip was filled with so many beneficial reminders about the people before us and what they sacrificed so we could be here today. The Umrah experience was amazing from day 
tonight we did not stop once and letting Allah Azza wa know that we were responding to his call. I wish I could relive it all again and inshallah one day I will but just like Ustad Abu Tamiya said it, it really is a blessing to get to come and do Umrah. You can have all the money in the world but what's for you is for you and unless it's written for you to be here Wallahi nothing in this world will bring you here without Allah's blessing. You just have to make true intentions that this is what you want to do and Allah Azza wa will provide the rest. He says in Surah Al-Baqarah <laughs> فمن حج البيت أو اعتمر فلا جناح عليه أن يطوف بهما ومن تطوع خيرا فإن الله شاكر عليم Right now though, this is the end of my journey and I'll let some other people finish guiding you for the rest of the trip. Right now, it's around 11 o'clock. I want to see our third day in Mecca. Just going around, that's quite different now, man. I'm saying that's it. That's the only. That's the only plan we have. Or that kind of thing. No, that's it. Allah, Allah. Just of uh, still in the process of taxing their share. This is not really taxing because none of us drink it. What? It's not how tax works. Whether you use it or not, it's getting grabbed. Or I don't know. It's just, <laughs> 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 We've got someone who's knocking down the door like they're bailiffs. Open that door. Yo, how are you taking? Why would you knock like that? Don't ever knock like that ever again in your life. I'll speak to you how I want, mate. Hey, man, buddy, yo, step back, step back, step back. I can't step back in my room. Just step back. This is my room. This is my room. We've got guys acting crazy. I don't know. We're gonna see You I'm saying. So you might be on the comments in my room. I beg you, say that again. You know the comments there. I've got access because you've been here for 10 days. You get me? <laughs> say that again, say it again, say it again. Documentary. You know the documentary. Where would you not like, would you, would you like do this whole day? We took us one and a half hours to government. <laughs> why? Oh, yeah, yeah, no aura, that's what it is. No aura. No aura. You know all the semesters do, you know? Of course, no. You man, to watch Ibn Risa, you can't get involved. Ooh, Ooh cameraman, what are you saying? More tax. Really We're taxing everyone. So I think I think, think that was my oh, fault. I will clean it up though. But don't listen, don't don't try don't pressure me like that though. No, we got these young G's talking crazy. I'm not I'm not a fan. But he does have a point. And you know what? The hack is the hack. in my hotel room. I want to microwave it. How how should I go about doing that? One, what's this? One three? Yeah, it's funny. One seven. Three. How's it going? Half one, half one. What did she say? What did she say to you? She said this is housekeeping. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> yeah, I'm not picking up. No, but did you press, no, press the button first? Yeah, press the button. Subhanallah, yo, this guy's a fob. Come on, what's this, bro? Why don't I use landline? Forgot Brother Radar Aziz right here. My boy, talk to me. How's your trip been so far? I'll say, let the camera know. Alhamdulillah, one of the best trips I've been to, Allah. Spiritually, mentally, everything, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, I'm going to see some more here. Alhamdulillah, we've got the Emir of Tawfiq Tours right here. You hear me? Abdassiz, talk to us. Chat First trip, could it have gone better? What could you have done better? How has it been so far? That's what you guys tell me. Okay, inshallah. We'll be writing a PDF. The, PDF document is coming his way. Do you think that is any improvement? The interview is changing. I'm interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think so far? I think, yeah, for for the first trip, for the first time you and Zakri are doing this, I'm surprised with how well it's gone, alhamdulillah. You have expectations were here already, but you've exceeded them. This tawfiq is not from us. This tawfiq min Allah. He looked at <laughs> oh my god. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Take it in, take it in, take it in, take it in. Assalamu alaikum, Abu. Davies. We've got some serious members around here. Wait, I need you to come and zoom in on this. Yeah, we're vlogging, we're vlogging, right? Listen to this, yeah? This is bolo season. This is bolo season. Tofiq toz. Little competition going, trying to see who got the biggest muscles. You get me? Yo, man, watch out, watch out. Abdurrahman, what's up? Yusuf, 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 look at this, look at this. 
my money, my money on me. They don't rate my thing. They think a little chunky monkey, they think it raw. Let me tell you something, lads. Uh, let me tell you something, lads. Um, when it comes to the gym thing, when it comes to the gym thing, certain man are verified. Here, hold this. E. Oh. Yeah. He's that guy, he's that guy. There's a lot of yo. Let me call that mirror out. I can lift more than you. I can run faster than you. I'm on 10 though. I got the most and I'm on 10 right now, homie. 10? I'm on 10 right now. Light 10. Light 10. Light 10. Light 10. Light 10. Light 10, bro. Come on. No one. No one. Okay, seven in bris. How many is that? How many is that? I said like four. Seven. Look at seven! He's like... Ten. Certain man can't get ten. Ten. And they grow men. I don't go to gym, bro. This is what Ali's doing. Oh yeah. Ali's flying! Yeah, that's not for me, man. Oh. Oh. Okay, we'll do it together. There's a wrestling match about to happen. That's it. B and you need to commentate this. Let's yeah? go. Let's go. My friend Sadak, he's a very bolo man. However, a radar is an animal. Different breed. He lives for this. Radar, come on, I'm gonna introduce you, Aki. You've got Radar Aziz. Born in 1998. Iraqi Kurdistan. And I feel for my Somali brothers. These Somali brothers, Aki, Ana and Hilib. Ana and Chi, sorry. It's not the same. Introducing the challenger. Who's the challenger? Sadak Ahmed. AKA <laughs> Sadak Ahmed, AKA Sadak TNT. Oh, oh wow. my god. Oh, oh my god. AKA oh, oh, Hitman. Oh, oh, AKA Hitman. No, are you on it? Are you on it? Are you on that? Submit, submission. First one, submit. No swinging, no swinging. Just, just, just wrestling. Two minute rounds. Someone grab the timer. Ready, set, go. Oof, oof. It's looking serious. It's looking serious. Keep going, 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 keep going. Keep going. Last minute, last minute, last minute, last minute. Last 30 seconds, last 30 seconds. Fantastic trick. Listen, 10 seconds you're going to call it, yeah? 10, 1. Check it out, boys. Allah 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 That's a sign of true brotherhood. Allah 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 Anas, yo, few words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All I'm saying is this guy is a bit on the low IQ side. If he takes his topi off, that thing is mountainous. Too much excess skin. <laughs> nice bit of uh, bullet to end the trip. You see what you have to say. Um, how was the trip, SD? Alhamdulillah, it was good. I, I learned a lot. I made a whole lot of new friends. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout every single one of them after um, we go back ends. Inshallah. Not a single one of them I'm shouting Let me tell you one fact about my brother's D. I saw a He's a very a funny little nah, nah, small man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a small man. But anyways, like he said, what? What you say? Um, I'm not talking about you. But like he said, we made a lot of um, good brothers here. Excellent trip. Very beneficial. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we met. Uh, the trip. How was the trip, uh, aka Abdullah? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. It was a very good trip, Alhamdulillah. Now over to uh, the main man, the youngest guy in the group, uh, one of the smartest in the group, Allah Mubarak. Um, yeah, over to Ali. Alhamdulillah, you know, the trip was very good, very fun. Yo, relax. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, good trip, good brothers. Feel me. What's he talking about? This is yapping in the background, yo. Wallahi, <laughs> I'm saying we rap him one time. Anyways. Hey, let's not talk about when we kids. Don't start a broski. Listen, alhamdulillah, we wouldn't have chosen a different group to do our first humra with. Alhamdulillah, worked out well. You know what I'm saying? Second trip back. We're trying to spin back as soon as possible. But next time round, though, boys, we're going to have some Arabi in our locker. We're going to have some Arabi in our locker. Because the amount of times Saman got bumped, two bills for a ring. Can we, can we focus right here? Can we focus right here? Let me not stop. Bring the camera back. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you get your chance to speak. He went around. He went around asking people, "Yo, how much would you pay for this ring?" We all came to the conclusion we were not paying more than forty. Tell us why he said he paid one eighty for the ring. Not only that. Thirty minutes later, we got another call. Yo, guys, I think I got bumped again. Alright. 
you this. My bad, my bad, my bad. All these old heads, all, all about, all about. I got bumped. Yeah, I got bumped, and I learned. I learned. I learned my lesson. I got my money back. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. However, all these old men came and also got bumped themselves. Tell me why. I, I can't. I can't. I can't name and shame because I have some hashod unlike these ones. Yeah. But I know certain man paid 180 for a what? Do you know how crazy that is? Do you know how crazy that is? No, you cannot, you cannot mention I'm, I'm not going to mention names. And, it's, and someone got, someone paid, what was it, 75 for a baby khamis that I paid 25 for. Okay, back over to me. Anyways, don't listen to Ali, he got finessed. He's a hard guy, you know what I'm saying? He's over to my left, you know what I'm saying? But before I get to him, I want to chat to one of my closest guys here. And I'm saying, big dog, I knew you since young. Chat to me, Absha, man. How's the trip? First off, I want to say, it's been a good trip with the brothers. You get me, you came out here. A lot of men weren't familiar with each other. You get me? So, for Anna, it's all You get me? Elias passed probation. Anas, 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 Anas passed probation. And you passed probation. Sadak passed probation. Aesop passed probation. Ali. You passed for a vision. Hey, hey. Uh, <coughs> Carl, I got a bit nervous. I got a bit nervous. But yo, one of the biggest legends in the game. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Over to the big dog, Anas. All I want to say is, I met some new brothers today. Are you today? On this trip, on this trip. Get off me. Yeah. Um, closing word. I came into that. We, I came into that room as uh, three friends and a stranger. And uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, we we we, we left as uh, three brothers in Islam. Elias was holding my hand until the camera came out. Elias, come here. So hold my hand, bro. It's all right. Come. Elias. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. I'm good. How are you? This brother. Don't mind. Now we're not starting again. Listen, we're trying to promote Tawfiq tours out here, you know. Don't get in the way of promo work, actually. Yeah. Yo, what did you benefit from this trip? I benefited from just being around the brothers. I had a huge boost when it came to my iman as well. Alhamdulillah, I feel like I drew a lot closer to Allah subhanahu wa taala as well. What kind of thing have you done on the trip or seen on the trip? That makes you think, yeah, when I get back to ends, I need to change that. Well, we've had a lot of talks from knowledgeable people. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it makes you think, I need to get to know my religion a lot better, innit? Mm -hmm. So learning beneficial knowledge when I get back and making it certain that I'm doing consistently mm -hmm. and just using my time wisely, that's one thing. Akhil Habib Sadak. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What you say, bro? Alhamdulillah, I'm good, I'm good. Very well. Uh, yeah, final day. We're still in Saudi. Yeah. yeah. So what? It's a sweet and bitter moment, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm a bit homesick, but it's an amazing experience. Soul searching experience. Soul searching. Soul searching. Allah That's a good one. That's the truth. No, That's the yeah, truth. Yeah, Allah is the truth. Talk, talk from the heart, boys. That's man. the you truth, man. Come here first. Come yeah. on, man. Yo, bro, have an interview, not? Yeah. Anyway, what's the main thing? You felt like you you took you took away from this uh, experience. Learning Arabic is essential. The amount we struggled, not just like getting around day to day, that doesn't really matter because obviously the man that we all travel to different countries and that I'm saying we make it through the like Italy, Spain. Guys have been to all sorts of countries. Getting around has not been an issue. Like in any time we had a khutbah, any time we had a lecture, for us to benefit the most from the students of knowledge and stuff that we sat with <coughs> and uh, that we had in our company. We need to learn Arabic. We need to at least make some effort to make uh, to learn Arabic, inshallah, in the future. It's just taking the deen more seriously, really and truly. So everything is just done my salah on time, mm. in the masjid, being around good people, no wrong crowds. What would you recommend, or would you recommend, sorry, to Ufiq Tours? 110%. Mm -hmm. I think, granted, anybody that goes on a trip with people, um, like, a, like an agency of some sort, mm. would say 100% I'd go again. But I think... On this occasion, on this trip, whether it be my first time, I think all of us realised that these two brothers did a lot for us. Like the, the planning and catering that they did with, with all the brothers. A lot of us, it's the first time that we've came here. 
and it was it was catered, it was suited to us, and, and they planned around everything behind the scenes. I don't think they got a wink of sleep, you know what I mean, to give us the best experience. So 110%, 110%. One more. Am I interviewing you or are you interviewing me? That's a good question. Huh? Listen, what are we saying though? We're matching today, you know? Uh, unintentionally. Unintentionally, unintentionally, okay. I just come bro. Like, hear what I'm saying, though. Hear what I'm saying, though. I got, I got ready first, you know. I seen him do it. That's my boy. Nice That's your boy. Nice That's how you know. Tofik nice Toz, we're locked, we're locked in. in. <laughs> locked in. Tofik Toz, one half, second half. Some would say this, this is the better half. I disagree. I know. I am. I agree. No, no, it's fine. I am the better half. Okay, no, that. Anyway, Akhil Habib, Abdul Aziz. How you doing, bro? Alhamdulillah. Good? Yeah? We've seen a lot of each other the last few days, you know. Some will say too much, some will say not enough. Not enough. Not enough? Not enough. <laughs> My guy. Our first trip, been 12 long days, sleepless nights. What would you say, brother, is the main thing you took away from this trip? We're still, we're still searching for, for the deen within ourselves, trying to learn, trying to become better people and better Muslims. But on this journey, we took some brothers with us to help them help us. The first thing I could take away from it I say it's the importance of brotherhood. Alhamdulillah, wallah, I couldn't ask for a better bunch for our first trip. Every single one of the brothers, wallah, they mean a lot to me. Especially after we got to know each other for the past 12 days or so. Wallah, alhamdulillah, man. You guys made it very easy for us. <coughs> I can say, I say, we done all the work and stuff. But wallah, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't think it would be as easy as it was. Smooth ride, alhamdulillah. And, f and uh, most importantly, it's from the tawfiq of Allah. No pun intended. Well, we had. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah.